Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video, um, try to get this as under 10 minutes as possible because my camera will shut off. I'm going to do a quick video on how to transfer a movie or whatever the case may be from your computer using the content manager to your PlayStation Vita. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is attach your uh, charging cable. This is actually the USB as well. So attach this to the PS Vita. Make sure that the PlayStation symbol is pointing upward when you attach it and then you're going to attach the USB end into your computer now make sure also that the USB symbol is pointing upward and attach it into a port on your computer <clears throat> and turn the PS Vita on and then unlock content manager there it is it's just bobbing away like like hey I'm available tap on it start it <clears throat> then we have options here we have options for PC to PS Vita PS Vita to PC you can back up your Vita you can restore your Vita and you can delete the backup files which I should probably do a backup but I'll do that in a separate video so right now we're going to go from PC to PS Vita because we're looking to transfer content from the PC to the PlayStation Vita so we'll go to videos and open up the video tab and these are the movies that I have currently on I mean on my um, computer um, so I'm not going to download the Wiz that is just extremely too too uh, huge of a file so what I may download here is the Lion King and then the Lord of the Rings I think I had several of those I might do Transformers let's go ahead and do Transformers I might I, I'm not gonna do Hunchback of Notre Dame not yet but I'll do the Lion King and I'll do Transformers now this Transformers the movie is not the actual movie it's the cartoon version of the movie oh goodness my battery is low okay hopefully I can get this done before then okay now we're gonna copy and it's going to copy to the memory card. Click OK. And as I said, hopefully I can get this done before my battery dies. I have a backup battery, but I can't take it out just yet. So hopefully this will get done before the battery dies. Wish I had known this beforehand. So it is copying. This is in real time, guys. It's running off of my Wi-Fi, so you'll be able to tell um, how long it takes a movie to copy over from your computer to your PlayStation Vita hopefully it's not gonna take that long and hopefully I have enough time to get this video done if it shuts off guys I will just um, change the battery out real quick and then resume the video so we will see how that goes And it's already copying the second movie. I've tried to choose files that weren't as battery hog consistent. <laughs> Some of these files that I've downloaded were, I don't know, megabytes as opposed to gigabytes. So after it downloads, I will show you guys the movie just to see. The quality may not be all that great, but if the quality is not great when you download something it's not going to be great once you upload it to the Vita either so it'll be the exact same quality as far as I can tell as when you um okay let's see we're going to go here and we're going to exit out of content manager go back in here it should show the videos that I have on my console currently. So let's click on the Lion King. 
hopefully it will work and there it is the Lion King is now coming up you can also fast forward so that's the Lion King and then the other movie I downloaded was Transformers so let's check that out right quick the battery is doing well yes and like I said, you know, this is a very old movie. Look at it. It's kind of like in Technicolor almost. And there you go. Transformers. So this is all I wanted to show you guys. How to transfer a movie that's already on your console to the PlayStation Vita. So you guys take care. Have fun. Play around with your Vita. It is a very great device. I love it. And we shall see you soon. Let me know if you want me to do more videos on how-to videos. So, take care, guys.